in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always. Welcome to another edition of the Realities Tip on Earth. Of course, I am the host or the gatekeeper of this internet ministry. On YouTube, I am known as the Mighty, 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 mm. Angel Snub Love 7. Love Talk Radio. As we set fire to the Confederate flag, as we set fire to the sheets of the Klansmen, we remain proud to be African supremacists. Cracker loving Uncle Tom, house Negroes cannot infiltrate the structure of the African supremacists. We remain. According to the modern definition of terrorism as outlined by the Department of Homeland Security, black people collectively have always been terrorists to white supremacy. Runaway slaves were terrorists against white supremacy and oppression. Harriet Tubman was a terrorist, Nat Turner was a terrorist, Demarc Vesey was a terrorist, and all other slave rebellions were form of terrorist activity. Marcus Garvey was a terrorist, Malcolm X was a terrorist, and the Black Panthers were terrorists. The hip-hop movement of the 1980s and 1990s was a terrorist movement. Therefore, any and all Negroes caught studying the works of these terrorists will be immediately suspended from Yuku. You will also be taken to Guantanamo Bay for further processing. Steven Spielberg is one of those Hollywood directors and producers who is very conscious, and there aren't that many in Hollywood who is conscious. I know a few others, um, like Wesley Snipes, Isaiah Washington, that's it that I know personally are conscious okay and he produced a movie Steven Spielberg pr produced a movie called Super 8 and the movie had me thinking about how the ancient Sumerians which were black people had documented the story of sky gods that they called the Anunnaki which means those who from heaven came to earth and the Sumerians documented how these sky beings came down from the heavens and they genetically engineered homo sapiens to be their slaves. Um, they also cohabitated with homo sapien women and produced offspring of their own which later became rulers, you know. And I'm like, wow, you know, I know every great civilization, every ancient great civilization has actually documented the story of aliens coming down from the cosmos. And basically, living among human men and women on the planet. And I just... I mean, Super 8 had me thinking really hard about that. I, I was like, okay, you know, I mean, I mean, if you have not read the story of the Anunnaki, I advise you to read the story. You know, the Sumerians talk about these sky beings that came down from the heavens around 450,000 years ago and they came for the resources on this planet they came specifically for the resources so I am really 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 beginning to really believe <laughs> these ancient stories of aliens documented by the ancients you know I believe it. You know, even even the Egyptians documented aliens coming down from the heavens. And ancient Egypt is the oldest civilization, the oldest civilization on the planet. Okay, it is not the Sumerian civilization. That's not the oldest civilization. 
Egypt is the oldest civilization. A lot of people are stuck in the matrix and will probably laugh at a few things I say in this video concerning aliens having visited this planet numerous times. They would rather believe the biblical fairy tale of the sons of God having took for themselves wives and then produced offspring which were the giants documented in the Genesis account. You know, they would rather believe and a tale that is basically plagiarized from an earlier source. Because the Genesis account concerning the sons of God is a plagiarization from the earlier sources concerning the sky beings that came down from the heavens, that came down from the cosmos. Okay? You're reading a plagiarized story in the book of Genesis chapter 6 concerning the sons of God. The Bible is a book of fairy tales. The Bible is not the Word of God. There's nothing authentic about the Bible. The Bible is basically a book of plagiarizations. That's all it is. I mean, you know, the book of Proverbs was plagiarized from the Egyptian mysteries. The book of Revelation is a plagiarization from the civil oracles. I mean, the book of Revelation is a plagiarization from the civil oracles. And the civil oracles is a plagiarization from the mysteries of Osiris and Isis. There is nothing authentic about the Bible, period. Okay, so, and don't take my word for it. Go do your own research. Now, I wish a lot of people, specifically black people, were not so ignorant when it came down to their history, to their ancient heritage. Unfortunately, there are a lot of ignorant black people when it comes to their ancient heritage. They don't know shit. That is unfortunate. It really is. It's very unfortunate because I feel like if more black people in America knew their ancient heritage, if they actually knew who they are as a people, I mean, they wouldn't be carrying on the way they do. A lot of, a lot of black people wouldn't carry on the way they do. Peace forever and always. Welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. Your host is his Divine Masculine Brother Administer Talik IBNRAD.